We've had our van now for two and a half years. Let's talk about what we like and don't like. Hello, everybody. After two and a half years and 30,000 miles with our Road Trek Zion SRT, um, time to do a little recap on uh, where we are, what we've done, uh, and how we're liking this vehicle. Um, uh, start right off by saying we like it very much. Um, when I bought it, I had a couple conditions. I wanted good gas mileage. I wanted uh, uh, good drivability. And I wanted small. I'd never driven any type of a large van like this or a motorhome. And I didn't want to be fighting the driving and parking and negotiating and navigating. The Zion SRT or short road trek uh, fit my bill perfectly. And it is uh, lived very well with me. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of complaints. We'll discuss a few little things. But uh, overall, it has been a good vehicle to me. And uh, very pleased. Uh, again, at that time, I was uh, a solo rider uh, with a small 11-pound dog. And you know, most of you know Maggie. So uh, it was not... Uh, it had plenty of storage for, for us. And um, overall, I, I don't think we could have made a better choice. Uh, moving forward to today... Um, I now We are now a couple. I have uh, Ginny in my life and... Uh, we travel together along with Maggie, and while it is all functional and still works well, uh, there are a few logistical issues with uh, uh, space and storage, lack thereof. Um, if I had it to do over, um, I probably would have gotten the regular Zion just because it's a little bit larger, which at that time I did not want, um, but you get a little more storage out of the, out of the thing um cabinet wise and uh, i'll call it the basement storage underneath and um, in addition you've got a little more uh, space in the bed and in the kitchen lounge area if you will okay let's start the actual discussion with a little bit about the build quality um rv industry is not known for excellent build quality um road trek is no different than anybody else uh being this was a 2019, it was right about the receivership, uh, which Road Trek went through. And um, as such, I was not expecting uh, perfection, if you will. Um, and most overall was not too bad. There's uh, some seam edges and uh, things like that that are not very clean under the cabinets uh, where the, um, I'll call it like a, a paper uh, meets the edge of the cabinets was not done very cleanly. Nothing really earth-shattering. Um, typical of the RV industry, as I say. I didn't, you know, a, a couple of things they did. Uh, there's a problem with the uh, uh, panel on the sliding door. Always has been. It's been fixed twice. It's loose again. And uh, I had a problem with the solar controller. Uh, one wire was um, loose. So I had to wiggle it to get the solar to work. And there was no way to get my hand back there. So I actually took it when I was into the dealers one time, uh, uh, Sunshine State RV. I had them uh, check that out and they they got it, to, took it out, and tightened everything up and put it back in. And uh, it's worked fine ever since. The other problem I had was the refrigerator. Um, not only did it have a bad thermostat, but it was wired backwards. Again, something very common in the road treks of that era. Um, beyond that, I didn't have any real quality issues that jumped up and bit me. Um, <clears throat> I'll show you the one here. And I, I've got a still photo of this, but this is the area right here where this is loose. And it's, it's a glue situation. You push it back, it's got some adhesive. It'll stay, but it won't stay for very long. So, um, that's that one item. Um... Moving back here, and taking my seat. Um, things I, I disliked, um, there wasn't a whole lot. I mean, it's a small uh, uh, wet bath. Um, you know what those are. Um, 
they could have done something up here with storage. And I don't know how well this shows up here. But what I've done is I have added some compression rods up along here to hold uh, some additional things. I put towels and stuff up there. Um, the table, uh, table leg, uh, I'm sorry, it's just not really functional. And that has somewhat to do with the style of the table leg and the layout of the van. But I'm sitting on the edge of the bed in the full position, not the queen. And um, table legs right underneath my, my butt. So uh, you, it's totally non-functional here. It does work when you put it in the sofa. The other problem is there, there's a table leg in the front. But that kind of interferes with the front seat and everything else um, if you use the table. So that was not very practical to me. Uh, one of the things I did uh, early on, uh, and there is a video on that, I added a uh, um, lagoon table leg uh, to the side right here um, of, of, this, of this cabinetry. There's a still picture of it. And um, that sufficed very well. Worked real good. I could put it in, bring it out. It also added additional counter space, which brings me to another negative, lacking counter space. Uh, so that solved all of those problems at once. Unfortunately, when I went to the queen size bed, when Jenny moved in with me, um, that table, that table and leg were in the way for sleeping. So we did take it down. Um, another item of contention was the uh, flip up counter space, which while the counter space was nice in the Road Trek SRT, it was two thirds of the way across the sliding door. So you couldn't, you know, especially if you're larger like me, you could not get in and out of the van with that extension out there. Um, this is what it looked like. And this is what I did here. I added a flip up table. This little counter here is perfect size to hold my coffee pot. And when not in use, you can flip it out of the way. There you go. The other one, uh, I, I sit up here in the front most of the time. Sitting up in the front, again, without the uh, table leg, I had no place to set things. I was sitting here one day, and lo and behold, I'm looking at that table extension I just showed you, and I thought, why not put one of those up here? So I did. I added another flip-up table right here, which I can use now for uh, coffee, uh, soda, sandwich, whatever. I can eat something up here if I choose. That has worked well for that and replacing the table, and the other one works well for uh, a little extra counter space because my coffee doesn't have to sit on it. One of the other uh, things that I found to be a negative, for me anyway, um, the curtains that they had for the slider and the back door windows. Um, I just very poorly made, uh, very, very poorly from a functional standpoint, also very poor. They're in little tracks and you had to kind of took two hands to slide them up, but they didn't always stay where you put them. Um, and the other part of that was they give you some excellent, uh, window covering insulators for the front cab windows, windshield and the door windows. Uh, they work great, but if you've ever seen them, uh, to package them up, they take up uh, the room of a small child in this van, and storage space is limited. So uh, I did away with those early on, and I replaced uh, those with curtains in the front, and I also put curtains in the back and took those off the back window. Um, both of those had issues uh, uh, early on after I put them up. The curtains in the front, the uh, the hangers were uh, 3M'd uh, to hold the rod up, and in the back there were compression rods, and uh, vibration would knock the compression rods down, and the heat of the Georgia summer would drop the uh, other rods because the adhesive would uh, let loose. Uh, another problem down here in Georgia when you're a you know 100 degrees and it's 118 inside the van, a lot of the 3M products don't work. A little workaround for that I found is uh, 
run the fan in here, the exhaust fan, uh, in the hotter days, and that will exhaust some of that hot air. But what I did uh, in the back, and it won't show up real well, so I'm not even going to try to show you. But I, I bought some hanging brackets, and I put them underneath the cabinet. There is the brackets there. You can see them, and I screwed them in. Not a problem. These have never come down since. Excellent uh, decision on my part. The other thing I did, we'll wander up front here. Uh, these in the front, I also uh, attached. You see if I can get in here to them. Not really. The way I got them set, you can't. But basically, uh, I took uh, super glue and I glued these in here so that they are no longer uh, able to fall down. One other thing that I really didn't care for was the fire extinguisher location was on the floor at the back of the passenger seat. Now that's fine when you're driving whatnot, but typically whenever I'm stopped, that seat is rotated, uh, becomes a lounge chair. And in that position, the fire extinguisher was right at your feet. So what I've done is I've actually moved mine up to the bathroom door. It's mounted at an easily reachable height and it's easy to take off. It's easy to access when you're in the kitchen. You don't have to crawl down to the floor. Um, I think that's about it for the uh, uh, little issues. It's not a lot. I mean... Uh, this thing has worked very well and served me very well, so I'm very pleased and as you saw by the curtains and the, the flip-up tables um, It's You can definitely customize it to suit your needs um, What do we like about this van? What are the positives? Um, start with it's got a good amount of storage for a class B um, It does have um, under under bed slash under sofa storage and um, that's reasonable amount we'll show you here in the picture it's a little cluttered I apologize for that and um, you know the cabinets up here and on this side and down here this is a, an excellent one uh, this is uh, what I use for pots and pans and kitchen stuff quite large quite deep Excellent there. Uh, there's a closet here. Um, I don't hang things in that. I have put a, uh, um, and I can show you that. I have put a storage unit and use it for storage of other items. So I've got a little drawer space in there now. I can hang an extra paper towel in there. Um, so that has worked out well. Other things we like about the van. Um, I like the small size. You can park it just about anywhere. Uh, truth be told, uh, the Zion is only a, a little over a foot. It will park in just about anywhere this place. This one will too. But uh, turning radius is excellent. Drivability is superb. Gas mileage, typically I get 17 plus. I have gotten as much as 18. Um, under bed storage, uh, let me flip around here and we can take a look at that. Under bed storage here is quite good. This is all storage under here when we put this as a queen size bed. One thing to note is I don't use this in a convertible mode. And by that, I mean, uh, especially with two people, but for the most part, I didn't by myself. Uh, I don't put the sofa up and then take it down and make a bed at night and then reverse it the next day. Um, just a lot of extra work. Um, I might do that if I was camped in a spot for a while, but typically a lot of my uh, travels, I, I stop on the side of the road or I stop boondock or mooch dock. I go to bed, I get up in the morning and hit the road again. So uh, that's kind of how that has worked out for us. So it has worked out quite well, uh, kind of just leaving it in position. Uh, one other drawback when you put this in a queen size bed, um, which I forgot to mention, uh, right here where this cushion slides over and meets with this bed, which is part of the sofa. 
I have an issue there with it being, uh, there's a little bit of a ridge there, and if you lay right on it, it's, it's not comfortable. I've not quite solved it yet. Uh, I either lay just short of the ridge or I move, lay across, you know, beyond the ridge and crowd Ginny just a little bit, but uh, it's not too bad. Um, beyond that, um, I can't think of anything else. Um, uh, the, the other pluses I forgot to mention, and these are a couple of the reasons why I got this van. Number one, let's look in here. This is a good sized refrigerator. And uh, it's got a decent sized freezer. Does not look like much up here, but it holds a hellacious amount of stuff. And uh, very functional. And I like the fact that it is elevated. So you walk in and you can reach in. You're not getting on your hands and knees. The other thing is the pull-out pantry. Kind of empty now, but this can hold an awful lot of stuff. Uh, so it's great storage. These two items here probably uh, were two of the selling items for me. I like those. I wanted those. And uh, probably the other selling item, which turned out not to be... Eh, as much as I thought I would, I, I like the front-facing sofa in the SRT, but in all honesty, I have not used it that much. I could have gone with benches just as easy and probably had a little more storage. So, uh, would we do it over again? Absolutely. Would I get a road trek? Absolutely. Uh, I love the Zion line. I love how they're laid out. I love how uh, they travel. Um, I've had very little issues. As I say, I had couple of electrical issues in the fridge and the solar controller, but beyond that, and then this one issue here, which I'm still fighting with the sliding door, but that's minor, minor inconvenience. We can work around that. Um, we love our Zion SRT. Been two and a half years, 30,000 miles, and uh, next year we'll be off to Florida for 10 days, uh, hopefully off to Texas, then off to Michigan for the summer. And part of our summer excursion is going to be do a uh, one to two week trip to the Upper Peninsula. So a uh, lot planned in the coming year. And uh, the Zion SRT, I think, will serve us very well. So overall, glad we got it. Uh, the only thing I might change now is knowing what I do today, I might just have opt for the regular full-size Zion especially knowing I was going to find Ginny somewhere down the road. So, But uh, we're, we're, we're functioning in the SRT, and we're doing it quite well. So there you have it. Thanks for traveling along. I hope you got something out of this video, and we'll catch you down the road in peace. Bye-bye.